Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have the finale of all 2015 candles. I've done two posts on Instagram and two posts um, on here on YouTube. Each of them, uh, the Instagram photos were two photos. One was a photo of all my Bath and Body Work empties that I've gone through in all of 2015. The other one was a post of every single other than Bath and Body Works company that I've gone through candles in 2015. And of course they have a matching video to each of them. And so they are down below as well. So this is my finale. This is like the, like gather them up. I wasn't gonna put a number, like a, a time, not a time frame, but a number frame on my favorites. But I will say, when I started looking through almost all those candles, if you have watched those other videos, you will understand there were so many candles that I literally had to make a number. So I, what I decided to do is my top 20 candles of 2015 that I burnt. So some of these candles are from previous collections, like previous years, and so on and so forth. So um, with that being said, you're going to see some 2014 candles, you're going to see some, a um, lot of 2015 candles, but these are the candles that I absolutely loved in 2015 that I burnt through. So, um, and a lot of them do have reviews here on YouTube um, as I burnt them, but I only started YouTube in July of 2015. So there's a couple of them uh, that I don't have reviews on. So that that's that, <laughs> that's how it is. So anyway, let's go right down to, we'll go from 20 and all the way up to my number one. So um, a surprising new candle for me, was Bath and Body Works from the Cork and Vine collection, Sparkling Pear Riesling. There is a review on this on my channel. Is ex I love when a candle, exactly what it says here is exactly what I smell. No muss, no fuss, like it is honest. It's being honest with me. And that is exactly what this candle was. It was a real nice crisp pear. And it, and it sounds like I'm not the only one who really enjoyed this. There was a few that, hit and miss, but more people than not enjoyed this candle and stocked up on it. So Sparkling Pear Riesling is definitely on my list of top 20. So that's number 20 and we'll work our way up. And the next one is actually a 2014 candle. It's from the Pumpkin Cafe collection, also from Bath and Body Works. Oh, and there is a review on this one. I think I, I can't remember if I said that. Um, and there is a review on this one as well as one of my earlier uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube videos. It's a Spice Pumpkin Cider. And of course, this was such a hit um, with Bath and Body Works and us that they didn't bring it out again in 2015. Of course, oh, why not? That's just, ugh. <laughs> but it was so good. It was like the, anything that says pumpkin, let's just get this out in the open. Anything that I may have in the future that says pumpkin something, it wasn't necessarily the pumpkin I smelt. It was the spices that one throws into a pumpkin pie or pumpkin whatever. So let's get that out of the way. So, but this being said, spice pumpkin um, cider, was just a beautiful apple cidery, cinnamony, spicy, yummy, warm, beautiful fall fragranced candle. Like it was, it was wonderful. And I really wish they brought this back and I only bought the one, so silly me. Uh, different company, moving ahead. Um, this one also has a review, one I'm about to show you on my channel. It's Willispa's Champagne Rose. And again, I like the candles that exactly what it says here is exactly what I smell. I smelt champagne, I smelt rose, and not a sickeningly gross, too old for me kind of rose scent, and not a sickeningly sweet or bubbly champagne. It was literally the perfect balance. Villispa in here, I'm Canadian, so here in Canada I can find Villispa at um, Chapters Indigo, that kind of thing. It burnt clean, it burnt beautifully. I really, really enjoyed it. In fact, I went and bought, I went back to Chapters to get like, they have like 15 different scents. Went to go back to get another bigger candle. They only had one of one candle left in this fragrance. It was a slightly larger jar, which I haven't burned yet. But that's just it. They have like 15 other scents, but that one goes fast and there's a reason for it because it's amazing. Then again from Bath and Body Works, we have the Cork and Bide collection again, but this time it's the wine cellar. This is a repackage of the Intrigue and Opulence of Smoke Berries and Incense. So it is a repackage. Absolutely loved it. Packaging didn't really throw me. I, I'm from the wine capital of Canada originally, so it, what was in here and what shows out here are totally not right. So there is a review on my channel on this. Um, a, just a nice incense type thing, candle that I loved so much. It was, it was kind of nice. I liked it. <laughs> That's why it's in this video. Another surprising one to me was uh, also from the Cork and Wine collection, also Bath and Body Works was Harvest Gathering. 
This one was a beautiful fall rolling into like basically coming out of summer going into fall getting us ready for the winter green cider like a cedar cider green note with some apple and it was just beautiful and review is already up on my channel on harvest gathering thank god it made my list because it was beautiful a summer ca candle that i cannot live without and i'm so excited that they keep bringing this out because i love it is coconut leaves i absolutely love this candle it is like the perfect it's not it's not sunscreen it's not like the coke uh, pina colada it's just perfect coconut it really truly is just a perfect coconut and uh, i'm noticing they are bringing it back without lids they're having these really cool jars without lids people start saving your lids <laughs> because uh we're probably going to need them i think they're doing another round of their no lids and raising the prices again <sighs> But anyway, coconut leaves, I digress, is one of my favorite summertime candles of which I will never be without as long as I make it. Next one, surprise to many and to me, I'd never burnt this candle before, um, this fragrance, and it was from uh, fall, fall of 2015, Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. Again, this has also been reviewed already on my channel. It's a um, beautiful candle, absolutely love it. Sweet, musky. Again, I don't know why, but this year musk in me is just like, oh, I like it for some reason. Um, game changer for me. This next candle, Bath & Body Works, of course. <laughs> Rainforest Gardenia. And the reason why it's a game changer to me is because up until this point, up in, I, was, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. I start burning it going, it is beautiful. It is like the perfect like gardenia white flower, floral, like I'm on vacation, somewhere rich very expensive yes and it was just beautiful i actually only bought one in this size because when by the time i started burning it and fell in love with it this whole collection was gone and uh i do have one medium size uh jar that i have left to burn for my bathroom gorgeous now this was a toss-up between this candle and another one it's very similar but they are very different i decided to choose bath and fireworks from 2014 fall of 2014 their vanilla chai and the other one I was thinking about was uh, the iced almond chai they are different the iced almond chai has more milk like a, a milk scent to me but this one I decided to choose I went through about four four I think I burnt four of these in total uh, between this is the only one I burnt in 2015 there was a whole bunch I went through in 2014 I repurchased more of these than anything <laughs> I think there was just something about it I love a chai tea latte I am a chai tea latte lover gorgeous loved it if i ever saw it again i'd snatch it up it's and the, uh there's no review on this channel i don't think uh, i don't think i can't remember now oh, there was no review of this because i burnt this prior to my channel and to be perfectly honest with you i can't remember if i burnt this during my channel time or not so i apologize um the next one also i did not burn uh during the time of which i started my channel in july this was burnt before that it was home and I think this came out around Easter, you know, February-ish last year. Uh, toss up between this one and Smile, but I did like my home and I burnt through a lot of these. It's like a caramel apple. It was gorgeous and nifty little lids. I, yeah, I went through quite a few of these. So I really enjoyed home. It was a gorgeous candle. All right, I'm gonna do some back-to-back -back sexy candles here. Uh, Bath & Body Works Black Tie. I have them in three wicks. I had them in this size. They do bring it out sometimes in the destination collections or what have you. This is a sexy man candle. Oh, it's so good. Yes, I have this tiny little candle blew all the other candles away out here. Like this was burning in my bathroom way down that hallway and way over there. And it came creeping out here and took over the entire place. I love this candle, sexy man. And as I'm going to go finish up with this, I put these two together. Candles by Victoria does, to me, the most amazing leather scent in candle. I, I haven't purchased from them lately because it's too expensive, but the most perfect um, candle to me, for the, the leather scent by Candles by Victoria is in Jacob Black. And Jacob Black is a character off of Twilight, so. Like I'm, I got goosebumps. I'm not, I'm not joking. When I tell you, I'm telling you, like, sexy man and leather. I mean, what else? 
What more can a girl ask for? Oh, enough said. If you guys ever order from Candles by Victoria, give this one a try. I know when I when our dollar in Canada does better, I'm gonna place another order and I'm definitely getting a larger candle in this. So, Jacob Black. Another summer candle. Um, anyone recognize? Recognize? It is Endless Weekend, an absolutely gorgeous candle. Another floral, white floral, outdoorsy, summertime. It almost gives me that cooling sensation. Cooling sensation with floral. I don't know why. Absolutely loved it. This one didn't have a review. These two have reviews on my channel. Sorry, I keep forgetting. This one does not, but Endless Weekend is coming out again, so I'll give that a try. It's really great. Next one, I gotta go fast, I only have four minutes left. Banana Nutmeg Bread Pudding. Review is up on my channel. Absolutely love it. Please, Bath & Byers, come back out and do a bakery, a sweet shop collection, come on. New to me, a uh, new brand. I'm so happy that Norma and like everybody's been hauling, Belle, everyone's been hauling these things. And it's Aquis. This one's the, the Rioja. This is a uh, deep, how are you? Deep red currant, cassis, and citrus, French oak. Fabulous candle, you guys. Found it at Winners, or I'm sure you can find it at TJ Maxx Marshalls. Beautiful candle. Had it in my bedroom. Gorgeous. All right, down the home stretch. Last five. The best vanilla scented candle. Oh, and there is a review on my channel for this, too. Review for this one as well Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Best vanilla scented candle to me that Bath and Body Works does. My absolute favorite. I think it's company friendly and yum. If you come out with it again, I'm going to get more of you. That is excellent. Now this is the one I'm not sure if I've done a review. I've done so many reviews. I can't recall if I did a review on this. I don't think so. And it's part of the sweet shop from 2014, raspberry peach macaron. This is the mason jar size sweet shop. I only got it in a size because it's one of those candles that you couldn't find anywhere because everyone was buying like 20 of them. So I bought the one. Love, love, love it. Please bring the sweet, back, so sweet shop back, please. All right, top three candles, you guys. Cranberry pumpkin, you know I say more. It doesn't, it's bakery. It's nothing like what it shows. It, it is uh, like a, a jellied cookie yumminess. Tart, sweet bakery all at the same time. Absolutely love it. Fall of 2015, uh, there is a review. Next one, I also have a review on my channel from the same line, Pumpkin Coconut. So good, and exactly, just how you see that photograph is exactly, I wouldn't say pumpkin, because again, it's, it's the spices you throw into it, but it's the icing, it's the cake, it's the yumminess, it's the coke, it's the real coconut, it's like real flight coconut, not the crap old stuff. Okay, I have to save some time here. My number one candle that I have burnt for uh, 2015 in the scent, the burn, the enjoyment in general. If you've been around me for a little while here, you'll know what this is already. It's not Bath & Body Works. Nope, DW Home hit it out of the park for me this year. Now, I can attest, this is a three wick version. Looks a little messy there. Three wick version of, of DW Home's Peppermint Bark. I bought two of these, $9.99 in Canada at HomeSense. And I can attest to the three wick. The three wick works. It is beautiful, it burnt wonderfully. I know people have problems with one and the two wicks. Um, uh, if you can find it, the three wick version, it is phenomenal. It smells just like peppermint bark. It's beautiful. I saved the other one for Christmas, Christmas next year. Um, the only I, only complaint I have of it is I wish this was see-through so you could see the, the melt as it's going down. That's the only complaint I have. So Peppermint Bark by DW Home, my absolute number one scented candle burn decadence that I have enjoyed all of 2015. So you guys, thank you very much for sticking with me. I'm just under the 15 minute mark, so I better bid you adieu. Um, thanks very much for watching, and this is the finale of all my 2015 series. So you guys take care and be safe.